Hello, you're with Mom Beauty today. And um, I started a um, MAC look in the box yesterday. And then I thought to myself, mm, I probably should put it on my face, put the product on my face, not just talk about it. So I um, actually did. And um, as, as we go through, I will show you the products I used on my face and give you a little mini review. Um, it's MAC look in a box. And it is a natural flare. It looks like this. And I, I have to say, I was really, really happy with the products. Um, yeah. It has, you know, all these beautiful, like, sort of best-selling natural colors that, you know, are very popular at MAC. Not, like, a bunch of, like, abstract, never heard of it before kind of things. So... Um, it comes with um, the peach tone blush and I actually used this peach tone blush um, in my crease today um, because I wanted to just use all the products from the actual kit. So I used this peach tone blush as uh, my transition color and um, it comes with two eyeshadows. Um, it comes with um, raw cocoa which is this deep taupey brown color, just beautiful. I mean, I'm gonna swatch this for you and hopefully you'll be able to see how nice the picture just doesn't do it justice. It's very pigmented and um, I use that in the corner very lightly. Um, it's a beautiful taupey brown. Um, and then I used all that glitters is the other color here all that glitters and this just has like a really beautiful kind of sheen to it my lighting's terrible but my husband's gonna hook up my camera and my lighting situation so never to worry um, but this is how the kit actually looks um, with the peach tone blush all that glitters eyeshadow the raw cocoa eyeshadow it has a lipstick in the luster formula that is called hug me and um, it's just beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. Um, I'll just do this. Very pretty, very natural. And um, that was the look I was going for today. Um, and I really, I love my bold colors, but I have a real appreciation. Um, for this sort of, you know, natural look right now, the sort of natural neutral colors. I think um, I'm about to be 50, and I think that they're very sort of anti-aging, and, you know, there's just a lot of glow going on, and, you know, it's just, um, it's very flattering. Um, it also comes with the Technical Pencil in uh, Kajal. Um, it's a very black color. Once it sets, it is pretty smudge proof. Um, and it has a lip gloss, a lip glass in Spice. Um, the only thing that I can really complain about with this set is the brush that comes with it. Everything else is wonderful, great colors. I, I, could, I can't complain about anything. Um, but what I can complain about is this cheap brush. The brush is very flimsy. It's... it's cheap it's light and it's nothing like the quality that you know you would expect from mac and this is something that a lot of consumers have been upset about um for a while the quality of the limited edition brushes that mac puts inside of their kits um are far below uh the standard for you know standard mac brushes so their special edition kits and the things the brushes they put in their special edition kits they just don't even compare to the quality of even the regular line. And I'm, I'm mad about the brush. It's very cheap. It's lighter than an e.l.f. brush. It's flimsy. It doesn't pick product up and deposit it in the way, you know, that you would want to. I had to use another uh, brush. I think I used this Sephora um, Pro Stippling Diffusing Brush 44 to sort of, you know, sweep on the color because... It, it just wasn't going to happen with this um, with this brush here. Um, and now, you know, there are so many nice, uh, high-quality synthetic brushes that are coming out. 
you know, Mac has to step its game up. I love the brand. It's an awesome brand. Um, but with respect to these limited edition uh, brushes, they've got to step up their game. There's just too many other high quality synthetics on the market that are very soft and applied product like a dream, like real techniques, echo tools, I mean, and so many others, you know. So when you're, you know, at a certain price point like this, you expect quality. And um, you're not getting that in terms of the brushes. Also, um, you know, one of the common um, complaints is that the eyeshadows are often splotchy and then not very pigmented. And notwithstanding this really wax swatch that I took, um, the two eyeshadows in there have the same quality as the singles. Um, they're, you know, they're pigmented, they're buttery, they're soft, they're just like what you would pick up in the regular singles. So I'm very, very happy about the look in the box kit. Um, I love MAC as a company. You know, I love the Back to MAC program. I love the Viva Glam campaign. They give so much money to charity, AIDS charities and HIV charities. Um, those things are really important. I love that community involvement. Um, I, I love what MAC stands for in terms of its diversity and all those things. Um, but with respect to the quality, of the brushes, um, they really need to step their game up because even some of my regular brushes now, like my 217, it's not, it, it doesn't even hold a candle to some of my Sephora Pro brushes um, that can be very, very soft. And they don't even, they're not even in the same hemisphere as my Haku Hodu brushes or Suku or um, Wayne Goss or Tom Ford brushes that I have. So they really need to step their game up on that point. But all in all, I give uh, the look in the box, Natural Flare, a uh, B plus. I would probably give it an A minus, but for that really, really whack, flimsy brush. So that's my review for the look in the box, Natural Flare. I'll see you next time on Love and Beauty.